Hey what's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be reviewing the, ooh, if I can keep my hands on it, the Maybelline Dream Velvet um, Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation. I have been trying it out for a couple of weeks now and I think I can give you my thorough opinion on it. And there's also going to be a demo so I will put a picture or something in here that shows you or like a little title thing like right here that shows you what time to skip ahead if you just want to see the demo it is not a very in-depth demo I just kind of was like this is how I do it yep that's about it so let's just get right into the review and then I will show you guys the demo all right so let's just start off with the packaging so it's a really nice package it's a little squeezy tube so it's like you can easily control how much product you're getting out sometimes sometimes you just got a heavy hand and can't really control it but that's okay um and yeah and I think it's just really nice and sleek which is and it's cute whoa adjust baby. that's it oh please yeah I said it in my demo too please excuse this thing on my lip it is a cold sore. I get them all the time and they suck a lot. Um, um, so I'm in the shade 10 and on the, I'll just read you what it says on the little like innovation whatever thing right there. I think it's the claims. So it's innovation. Our first gel whipped foundation. Fresh new and flawless dream velvet whips a fresh gel into velvet soft texture which is very true. Complexion is perfected and smooth with a soft matte finish just like velvet. Skin feels fresh with lasting hydration and I honestly agree with all of those. Um, I do get the um, velvet matte, matte type um, like finish as you can see here. I did use a bit of Max Fix Plus which just broke and spilled and I'm like devastated right now. but. I'll get through it, I'll order a new one. Um, but so that might be why it's a bit more dewy, but other than that, I did my normal routine. And it's just I do get that awesome finish. I really just it's so just nice and perfected. And I have a lot of like little bumps around here. You can still kind of see through there, but the redness part of them has been covered, which is really nice and really what I'm looking for in a foundation. So that is correct and I do feel lasting hydration. It does not feel cakey or dry on my skin. It feels like it's actually like hydrating and helping it out a bit, which is really good because my skin is so dry right now just because of the winter time. As you can see, my lip is feeling it too. It's not a good time for Meg. Um, they have it in French in there too, if you wanted to know that. Uh, they have glycerin in it and I know glycerin is supposed to be super good for your skin and gives you a really good finish as well so that's really good it also contains I don't know any of those words so at least I know what glycerin is that's good um but yeah, I overall really, really like this foundation. It's probably one of my favorites from the drugstore right now. I do plan on getting the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion Foundation. And I will be trying that on my channel really soon. So be looking for that one. Um, just a quick little... Oh no, I'll, I'll make a new video for my life update. That'll be good. I'll make a new video for that. So we looking out for a life update video. Do you guys like this? Are, are you guys okay with this background? I literally just put a blanket up behind me and I hung it off the side of my bed because I'm back at school now. And I don't think it looks very good, but it's better than showing you my mess of dressers over there. So that's, yeah, this might be a little bit better. I'm going to try to crop out the edge of the bed. It's like up there, but I'm going to try to crop that out. So if you don't see it in the video is because I cropped it out. Why am I even telling you this? If I'm gonna crop it out, you're not even gonna know. 
Wow, okay. I am just out of it today. I was really up late last night. Just gotta get through this day. And then I don't have school tomorrow, so it's gonna be cool. Alright, so let's just get right into the demo of the foundation, and I'll see you at the end. Bye! Hey guys, so I just realized that there was absolutely no sound when I was doing this, so I'll just tell you what I was doing. So I'm just putting on my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, per use, that's my favorite one to use right now. And this is just a really quick demo, and then I'm going to go in with the foundation. Please just ignore the fact that I'm talking to the camera but there's no sound out of my voice whatsoever I was just saying how I think the shade might be a little off for me but then it ended up being perfect and I am using the Tarte Airbrush Foundation brush in this video the Morphe M439 brush is also really good and cheaper and it's just a good alternative for the Tarte brush because the Tarte brush is $34 and some people just don't want to spend that much for a brush. But the M439 I believe is like 12 something, I don't know, not much. It's a, it's like a lot less compared to the Tarte Air Brush Foundation brush. And oh, by the way, this foundation was about... I would, I would like to say either 7 to $9 at Walmart is where I bought it. And it's a very thick foundation. It did not run down my hand whatsoever. It was just really, it was really nice and like creamy. So I'm just dipping the brush straight into that foundation and starting on the outer perimeter of my face and working my way upwards in circular and straight motions. I find that this foundation is pretty high coverage. I can build it to be more coverage than, like, it's very buildable. It does not get cakey when I try and build it up, which is very nice. Um, I've, you'll see in this, I did put a second layer on just because I thought I would need just a tad bit more. But, uh, yeah. So I'm just going around my face with that. And making sure to cover my eyes since I am not doing my concealer or anything like that. Like, well, like, not doing my eyes, I mean, before my foundation and concealer. So uh, now I'm just shutting off my light to show you what it looks like in more of a natural room lighting. It's really crappy lighting in my dorm room. So I turn my light back on and I... I think I'd, this is where I was deciding I need another layer. But I did a small layer this time. It wasn't still like the full amount that I used last time. So as you can see, it's very buildable. It does not look cakey right off the bat or anything like that. And throughout the day, it does not look cakey um, as well. I did end up wearing this for the rest of the day. It stayed up till like three in the morning then I did my face mask I took it off went to sleep everything and it still didn't look cakey so that was really really nice I was very happy with that I also set my face with the it cosmetics by my pores powder and the I baked under my eyes with the um, Laura Mercier translucent setting powder which is my favorite setting powder of like right now so yeah, that's my favorite side of power right now. So that is the foundation demo, and let's just get into the conclusion. 
Alright, so that's it for this video on my channel. If you would like to see more, please let me know down in the comments below and tell me what you want to see. Tell me what you think of this foundation or if you found this helpful at all. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this type of foundation review type thing. It's my first one, so I'm pretty pumped about it, you know? Just like, it's a good day. It's a good day. Um, yeah, what was I going to say? Oh, don't forget to thumbs up this video while you're here and click, if you're new, click that red subscribe button down below. It would mean the world to me. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye!